Hi everybody, Mr. Austin here. In this video I would like to talk you through what the dashboard looks like, that's the opening page of our VLE, brand new, it's called Fusion, a VLE is a virtual learning environment. In other words, the way in which you're going to learn and, and understand your home learning tasks and complete them from your subject teachers um, from now onwards. Now, this is an imaginary student called Chloe Frampton. Um, I made her up and I'm now using her username and password uh, and I'm logged in as if I were you, as if I were a student. So this is your dashboard. This is the front uh, page, if you like, of, of your um, login. And what I'd like to do is show you in this video how you can basically see your homework that's been set by your subject teachers um, and and do a walkthrough tutorial uh, in, of completing a homework. Now, there's lots of different topics in this Quick Links, and in time, uh, as a school, we want to put lots of useful information for you and your parents, and indeed our teachers, uh, in, into this program. For now, the main two areas we're going to be using is classes and homework. If we look in classes, now Chloe Frampton is an imaginary Year 7 student who, who happens to be in Mr. Priest's class, so if she goes into her classes, she can see that she has the subjects you'd expect to see as a Year 7 student in Mr. Priest's class. I'm going to just go back uh, to, to the home page. If you press the house, you get to the home page. Try and follow my cursor that's doing circles from time to time. Now the main purpose of this video is to do a walkthrough tutorial about homework so that you can do that. So let's do that. I'm going to click on homework. That takes you through to another window that has your homework. So, by the way, don't panic if you're in year 7. These are all made up homeworks. Okay, You don't have all of these to complete. Um, but this is what your homework window will look like. So you can see the title of the homework, the class, and the subject. Um, and if you see a green tick in this left-hand side, um, you, it means that you've completed that homework. Uh, so in this example, there's a few homeworks that Chloe has completed, and there's quite a few homeworks that she hasn't completed. You can ignore this date here. I'm just highlighting it. Look, you can ignore that. That's an error in the system. The key information is how many days you have left to complete that homework. So the green writing is very, very important. As you can see, look, there's a homework here that's been completed. 1C is the level, so uh, it looks like Chloe didn't spend enough time on her music homework, Legend of Rocks. So you can see that if you see the feedback and there's something written there, in this case it's written by me, Mr. Austin, um, I did this one as an example earlier on, um, you know you've had some feedback from your teachers. But in this tutorial, we're going to do a walkthrough on actually completing the homework. And the homework we're going to choose for this is my final band music performance assessment. So this is an evaluation of a final band performance. Now when you click into the homework, you can see that there's a whole load of information or a brief outline, if you like, of the homework from your uh, teacher. So Mr. Trombone <laughs> has set this homework and told Chloe what he would like her to achieve. If you go further down, you'll see there's a resources section. So, so Mr. Trombone, the music teacher, has set Chloe an evaluation homework and wants her to complete the evaluation on this Word document. So let's go ahead and open it. So this is a performance evaluation document. And you can clearly see that there are a whole lot of questions which Chloe would download this and she would then complete her answers to these questions, making sure that her name goes on it. So this is actually what we're going to go ahead and do. So, um, as I'm now logged in as a student called Chloe uh, Frampton, I'm going to go to these three dots. No, I'm not. I'm going to go back into the document, and I'm going to download it. So I'm going to press this arrow here, and I'm going to download it. Now that puts it onto my computer. That is very, very important. That puts this document onto my computer. I can then go ahead and save as and put it into my own folder, um, as you should do, so that you're not uh, just working on the universal document that everybody has to uh, download. Otherwise, it's, it's not personal to you. 
So let's just imagine that you've gone ahead and done that, you've opened it up, you've answered all the questions, and your homework may end up looking a little bit like this. So you've put your, your name on it, and you've tried to answer the questions uh, the best you can, and you think it's ready to hand in. So let's go ahead and demonstrate handing in a homework. So I'm going to go back to, uh, back to this page here, and we're back on the homework page. It says here, Submit Homework. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to go to Upload. I'm going to go to my to choose a file. So Upload, choose a file. A lot of this is intuitive. In other words, if you follow the instructions on the screen, you're pretty much going to get it right. So I want to choose my band performance final assessment, except this is Chloe's work. So this is Chloe's work there. Okay, so I'm going to upload that. Chloe is uploading her music homework for Mr. Trombone, or Mr. Austin as the case may be. There we go. So we can now see that when it, where it says your homework, Chloe Frampton has submitted and uploaded her homework. But there's one more important thing she needs to do. She needs to say, you know what, I've completed this. She needs to tell her teacher, I've completed this homework. Now have a look here, you can see a Windows arrived. You can have a dialogue, a communication with your teacher if you want to. It says there, is there anything you would like to let the teacher know? Um, I think Chloe wants to say, I found the extension task a little tricky, but I still tried to give it a go. So Chloe's saying that yeah, she might have got a few things wrong in the extension task, but she's pleased that she's given it a go. And when we click continue, uh, that message will be sent to uh, Mr. Trombone. And you'll see that message there, you see. Now, and that's how it works. And it says homework complete. You have marked your homework as complete. And that is a walkthrough instruction on how to complete the homework. If we do go back into uh, back home, let's go back to the home page, the dashboard, and we go into homework, you will now find that on that homework that we were just discussing is a green tick. So that is proof that if Mr. Trombone, Chloe's music teacher, goes into um, into the uh, his uh, activated account and he wants to mark the homework, he will see that Chloe has completed that homework. OK, I hope that helps and good luck using the new virtual learning environment called Fusion.